Welcome into all things LA real estate. My name is PK Noel. We're heading out to Los Feliz for your October real estate update. Happy Halloween month to all of you out there. Appreciate you following along. Los Feliz, very desirable neighborhood, very high ticket price, especially the neighborhood north of Los Feliz Boulevard. But they got some great commercial streets. It sits basically on the east side of Hollywood, but a great upgrade, solid neighborhood, pretty solid schools as well. We're going to break down everything you need to know as far as what's going on in the market with real estate. There's some very interesting things that we got to get to, but we're going to get into current statistics. We're going to look at some long-term statistics. And at the end of the video, you have to stick around for homes that have caught my eye as we break down some incredible numbers on in some of these homes. Let's go. Currently out in Los Feliz, we've seen some major shifts. If you're somebody who's been following along, month after month as we get into the numbers in the game right now we got 40 homes available for sale of those 40 homes we've seen 13 do price drops so about 33 percent of the homes on the market right now have seen price drops there's high ticket items in los Feliz with high ticket items in a seven and a half eight percent interest rate environment you're just not going to have a lot of buyer attention so the 30 percent drop in, in home prices is something that we're going to typically see probably for the rest of the year but it's just a reality of the game right now the minimum price right now for the first time in months we've been following along we are no longer under a million to get in the neighborhood the lowest right now is 1.195 million the top end we are for the first time in many months not above 10 million as our our top end home right now is 9.995 we're going to talk about both of those houses. Stick around to the next, to the end of the video for those segment. The average home sale price right now is four point zero zero three three ninety nine. So just a smidge over four million. Average days on market. We're sit. We're stuck in that sixty mark. We're at sixty five right now. We've seen it sixty four, sixty two, sixty five. So that's why we see those home prices, right? We've talked about this a lot over the past couple of months. Once you hit that 60 day mark, that's when sellers start to get anxious. No one has the intention of putting their home up for sale and then sitting on it for two months without any progress. So once we get to that mark, that's when the tough conversations start and home sellers start making extra moves. We look quickly into October of 2022, 15 homes sold at a 98% clip. What that means is on average 2% under the list price so that's a number if I'm a homeowner, I'm keeping an eye on. One thing that's gonna be telling when it comes to that is what happened last month. Let's do that now. Last month's statistics are really telling when you look at Los Feliz. Um, it's one of the more desirable neighborhoods, but we actually saw 11 homes sell last month at a 98% clip. So 2% under the list price. And Los Feliz is the only neighborhood on the east side that I run through that has seen consistently home selling under the list price. And I run them all, right? I do, we do Los Feliz updates, Atwater, Glendale, you know, La Quinlada, Fernandez, Pasadena, Altadena, Alhambra, Monterey Park, San Gabriel, Cypress Park, you know, Lincoln Heights, El Sereno. So we're doing all the neighborhoods on the east side. It's the only one that's seen continual. And what that means is when people list, they're obviously listing off comps, they're listing off the market, and now they're having to take mar uh, offers under that list price, uh, which isn't going to accumulate to a home appreciation for those of you who own a home in lowest release. It could be opportunity for a buyer who's trying to get into the neighborhood. Those are high ticket prices. So if you're somebody who's financing, you got to make sure you get a good value, a home that has you know great potential to appreciate so you don't get underwater on your loan. The low end last month, we, we had a home sell for $964, $454. It sold for $50K. Above the list price, so very typical deal there. We had uh, that the high end was only 4.970. And I say that, you know, obviously with respect, but typically we've been seeing higher ticket sales in Los Feliz. We see that through the average, right? So the average home sale last month was 2.681, 768. That's down about 900K of our normal averages in Los Feliz. But a lot of that has to do with we're only selling 11 homes, right? And like I said, a month after month, we've been seeing homes north of 9 million sell where this home, our top end last month was only 4 million. So that's where you kind of see that gap of nearly a million dollars on our average price. So 
So we're not going to worry about it too much, you know, just on a, a small sample size of 11 homes selling. But we are seeing this consistently with high ticket prices. The market is slowing drastically. It could be some of the uh, tax changes with homes over 5 million, but we're seeing this with homes even over 3 million. La Cunada, Flint Ridge has crazy 90 day, days on market number. We're seeing it with the top end homes in Pasadena and in Glendale. We're just not getting a lot of action. They've pretty much been pushed into a position where the only people who could buy those homes is realistically cash buyers. Um, so we're seeing that continually uh, on the upper end here on the east side in Los Angeles. Probably a trend that's going to continue through the winter months. Uh, days on market was solid, 16 days. Uh, it's pretty typical. 15 is kind of the lowest you'll see. 16 is great. Taking a peek into October of 2022, we had 15 homes sell at 103% clip. So back in, in late of 2022, we were seeing homes sell uh, at 3% over the clip in September. Uh, that's a 27% decline year over year. Uh, that's something we're seeing consistently on the east side, uh, 20 and 30% drops year over year. We just don't have the inventory. We have high pricing and we have you know crazy high interest rates comparative to the times we've lived in. So we're just not getting the buyer demand. We're kind of in a stalemate essentially, but we're gonna jump over to the homes that have caught my eye. We got some very interesting things with some of the homes that we're gonna break down here. So let's do that now. Homes that have caught my eye. We're gonna break down the entry level. What's the, what's the floor look like to get into the neighborhood right now? And like I said, for the first time in many, many months, that floor has moved up above a million dollars. We're gonna look what the ceiling looks like as well. Like I mentioned earlier as well, it's the first time in a very, very long time that that ceiling has moved below 10 million. We got a big thing to look at when it comes to that house that's the top end right now. And then we're going to get a PK's top pick. I'm looking for value in the neighborhood. I want to find you a home that the numbers are telling me this is a good investment. So it has strong potential to continue to appreciate over time. So that way, if you come in and you have to finance this home, you're not in a high risk avenue of having a home that's going to depreciate. You get underwater on your loan. You can't refinance and things go south for you. But we're here. Let's start off with our entry level position. I do want to mention that home on the bottom end last month that we broke down 3308 Wood Terrace. That home is pending now. That does not mean a lot. We are seeing record number of pending and under contract homes get canceled even as late as an escrow. Um, you know, things are just shifting in the market with rates, and, you know, jumping up. People are falling out. You know, if you've been qualified a month, couple months ago from a lender, make sure you go out and retouch base with the lender again um, because, you know, everybody's getting affected by these rates and we'll see how things kind of go. But our new low end, 3819 Sunset Drive, three bedrooms, two baths, 1,200 square feet, listed for 1.195. It sits on sun, uh, right on Sunset Drive. So uh, on that little uh, section, if you're familiar with Los Feliz, um, you know, there's kind of that intersection where you're coming up Silver Lake and Sunset Boulevard shifts into Hollywood or Sunset as you go through Hollywood. It's on Sunset Drive, just east of that. Basically where the Vista um, movie theater is that Tarantino just remodeled. You go down the street to Sunset Drive there. Um, Pretty solid house, nine ninety five per square foot. That's pretty high, um, but you're gonna get you know thousand dollar value when homes that are really nice. The lot's not humongous, thirty five thirty or thirty five forty four. So not a ton of room there. Um, good views at the house. Comps. Uh, we do have a three two twelve fifty. So we're three two twelve hundred. This is a three two twelve fifty. It's also for sale right now, but it's actually for sale for one point four right in the neighborhood. Uh, so there could be some value here with the Sunset Drive home. Um, that one's a little bit nicer, a little bit more room uh, as far as the lot size goes and the square footage. Um, but that shows you that there's, you know, strong essence for this type of home in the neighborhood. Uh, and it's pretty quiet over there. You don't get a lot of action, you know, obviously getting out the sunset right there, but you get your own light. So I like the neighborhood. It's on that south side of Los Feliz you can kind of sneak around and get to Hillhurst pretty easily if you're trying to go to home or any of the, the nice restaurants there. Let's jump over to PK's top pick. Uh, I do want to mention, we got a weird instance with our uh, September top pick. It was 3763 Prestwick. 
it is still active, but they brought it down and they relisted. And I, I rarely have ever seen this. Uh, when we talked about it last month, we liked the numbers. It was listed for 2.499. They've relisted it for 2.740, um, which is very odd. So it's 20, it's, you know, they've decided to jump it up, you know, over $2 million. Um, and I'm not sure exactly why they did that. So um, maybe they saw my video and thought the value was too good. But yeah, they brought it down. They relisted it. So it's still active. Go ahead and uh, check out the September update real estate. I'm not going to love the numbers at 2.74 as much as I did at 2.499, obviously. But you can still get some relevant information. Go ahead and check out the Los Feliz September real estate update. Uh, but we're going to take on 2219 Richland Avenue. It's a five bedrooms, four bath, 3,404 square feet. It's listed for $2.695 million. It just had 100 thousand price drop um normally price drops huge red flag you know something's wrong with the house terribly uh priced by the seller or the agent it's just the reality you know you get up into 2.795 mark and you're just not getting enough buyer attention you're trying to attract cash buyers almost in every aspect of of the game right now so you drop it 100k to, to hopefully bring in a few new names um it sits north of Los Feliz Boulevard, like I mentioned earlier in the video, one of the most attractive neighborhoods in all of Los Feliz. Uh, the only thing that I hate about that neighborhood is how um, much traffic is on Los Feliz Boulevard, specifically in the night rush hour, trying to get, everybody's trying to get out of Hollywood and get to the five freeway from there. Uh, it can be quite hectic most hours of the day going both directions. Not as much on like the Griffith Park entrance side down by Western, but uh, as you, you know, through Hillhurst and, in Vermont over there, uh, a lot of traffic, but in the neighborhood, it's fine. You're obviously close. You can go up to the observatory, the Greek theater is there, $791 per square foot. Love that number on this house. Very attractive. The lot's decent, six nine 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 dollars For the lot size, this is a two-story home. It's got a pool. It was built in 1981 for Los Angeles. That's actually great. You know, a lot of homes were obviously built, you know, back in the early uh, part of, uh, of the century, last century. Uh, so 1981 is not bad, but this is a beautiful home. Uh, the numbers kind of check out on it, and the price drop tells me that the seller is ready to move on. The big thing with this neighborhood too is like all of the houses are $2 million plus. You drive through that neighborhood, all of those houses are $2 million plus. Many of them, three, four, five million million, $5 And that is good for my home value at you know 2.7 right now 2.695 essentially um and that's like what like i mentioned that's what i want if i'm going to go in and make that financial investment i need to make sure i can afford that monthly payment every single month and i want to make sure this home is not going to go down in price because that obviously brings on some complications that i don't want to deal with and this home like i said it's in such a good neighborhood with all high ticket prices it would take something catastrophic for it to kind of go down but let's get on to the top pick We've got to break down this situation here. Um, so I do want to mention 2400 Iverness. That was that $18.4 million home we broke down in September. Go check it out. It's on hold right now. Um, so that could be in a number of different things. It would be canceled if they were deciding to not move on it. So it's on hold right now. I anticipate it'll pop back up. Maybe, you know, something came up, you know, life or with the house. So We'll keep our eye on that. I'll keep you updated next month. Uh, subscribe if you're interested in following along. But we're going to get to the new top dog. And this is a crazy. So 4808 Bondview Avenue, five bedrooms, five baths, 5447 square feet. It's listed for 9.995 million. So just, you know, 5,000 under 10 million. It was originally listed for 11.5. So it's had a 1.505 price drop on this home it's a 1924 spanish colonial it's got great views it's got a pool it's got a wine cellar uh same neighborhood that norse los Feliz uh neighborhood 1834 per square foot that is insanely high um even in the top end market 1000 1100 1200 1300 1800s a crazy high number but the lot is humongous, 25,124. Uh, it's been on the market for 60 plus days. Like I said, once you hit 60, the seller's like, I wanna move on with my life. That's why you get the 100K price or the price drop. Um, and we saw the price drop at 1.505. Here's the crazy thing we need to look at. 
this home sold in 2017 for 3.75 million. It got remodeled in between 2017 and 2019. It got remodeled and resold. In 2019, this home sold for 6.35. That is a 70% increase in two years. Was it updated? Yes. Is it in a great neighborhood? Yes. 70% upgrade in two years. Now, 2023, same house, same updated house in 2019. They origin they've listed for 9.95. That is a 57% increase off the number in 2019. So it goes 70% up and then 57% up higher on the home price. And their original hope was to get 11.5, which would have actually been 81%. So if you look at it from a six year perspective, this home in 2017, did it get upgraded? Yes, but it was worth 3.75 million. And they thought they were gonna get 11.5. That is a 307% increase. Six years. That is not obtainable to continue. That's why they probably seen a price drop something's got to give there's no way this house is three times more valuable in six years that is nonsense you're talking about getting three thousand so if you get a, a loan a 30-year mortgage loan on this house and it stayed on this trend we're talking about three thousand percent over 30 years that is that is crazy that is bonkers uh i just can't continue i think this house might be in for uh, sitting for longer. There's just not a lot of people uh, in this price range being able to finance 307% increase over six years is bonkers. No one can afford that. Um, so it's a crazy number to see. It's I could do this with a lot of houses. 2021, you know, we saw 20, 30% jumps in a lot of neighborhoods and that number never reverted back. I don't think it will just because it's LA, it's desirable. We have too much investors sitting on the sideline trying to scoop up homes to turn them into rentals. Um, we don't have the inventory. There'll certainly be a peak of when, you know, rates start to drop, buyers flood the market, sellers recognize the opportunity, they re they reflood inventory, you know, and then there's kind of a teetering point where inventory starts to outweigh uh, the buyers, and that's when you might see some home price. Those, that's all speculation. No one really knows how all this is going to shake out, but that is a wild stat, and that is not uh, sustainable for any person, anywhere, anytime, especially for the younger generation to own a home. But uh, regardless, it is a beautiful home. Uh, numbers are high for me, um, but I'll keep you updated, and we'll see where it goes. We'll see if they get the... Uh, you know, huge 57 to 81 percent gains they were looking for over, you know, the four years they've owned it. So thank you so much for watching the video. We do this every single month for almost every neighborhood on the east side. We're doing Pasadena, Silver Lake, Eagle Rock, Highland Park, Glendale, La Kenyatta, El Sereno, Cypress Park. The list goes on and on. So like and subscribe to the channel if you are so inclined. If you're somebody who's looking to purchase a home, on the east side of Los Angeles or sell your home, I am happy to help out with you. Reach out to me, you can send me a direct message online or all of my phone numbers are listed. Even if you're somebody who's hesitant with 7% interest rates, that puts us in the same boat. It always helps to start preparing for future opportunities because you don't wanna miss the boat there. We will tread lightly, we will look for value, we will get it done. I also do a ton of other videos. I get into the schools. I get into you know the restaurants in the neighborhood. I get into the attractions in the neighborhood. I do some other fun videos like quick cribs. So once again, like and subscribe if you are so inclined. Have a great day. Be kind. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Here we go.